there is no fun for people's of developer without app designer right in today's video i'm going to show you how to install peoplesoft app design for a peoplesoft single user installation if you have not watched my previous video how to install peoplesoft single user i will provide the link in the below description you may watch it first i will start with what you should not do to install peoplesoft app designer i know you have installed peoplesoft single user now you are ready to install peoplesoft app designer you don't know where to be then you go to oracle support website and you can see let me show you the page there's a peoplesoft people tools uh, patch home page and then you can go to people tools there are uh, multiple version, versions of people tools here as you can see there are peoplesoft 8.57 and there's a patch link here where you can download don't do that please uh, this is only for the patches and this is not the basic installation i tried this and it never worked so don't do that let's move on to the actual installation let me provide the steps to install peoplesoft app designer right. so these are the four steps that we do to install app designer for peoplesoft single first we need to locate the installation file next you need to update tns entry so that app designer can communicate with oracle database and you need to run peoplesoft installation program given as part of installation folder and then lastly you need to configure the peoplesoft configuration so let's do all this step step number one let's find out uh, the installation file before we do anything first we need to start the virtual machine i will go ahead and kick off the oracle virtual machine okay let's start the virtual machine this is the machine where peoplesoft single user is in installed if you want to know how to install this you need to watch my previous video in order to locate the installation file we need to access the files from virtual machine so our virtual machine is configured with a host only network adapter this will allow the virtual machine to communicate with our host with a specific ip address we need that ip address to locate the files looks like virtual machine got started now let's try to locate so for the standard people's of single user installation the ip address is fixed it's 192.168.56.101 if you are not sure of your ip address you can definitely find that from your virtual machine so let me stop this okay if you type this command if config you can see your ip address here 192.168.56.101 so now once you do that all you need to do is go to the windows search bar windows 10 search bar and type your ip address 168 dot 56 dot 101 okay. click enter now you can see the files shared by the uh, virtual machine so you need to click on the folder tools client so this completes our first step let's move on to our second step update tns entries the tns entries can be found in the same installation folder you can see this tns names file you need to double click on it and you can see the tns entry for the new peoplesoft single user installation either you can copy this to your existing tns file or if you are creating a brand new installation there are no oracle connections exist on your machine don't worry about this step because peoplesoft will automatically take care of it by the next step so the next step is what you need to do you need to go to your oracle product client network admin 
and TNS entry. So this is where you can add all your TNS entries. So make sure you add it to the existing Oracle connections. That completes our second step. Let's move on to the third step. You need to run Windows installation program. Now let's go back to the installation folder, the tools client, and you can pick any of the tools you want to install, but I would love to install the newest tools, which is 8.57, double click on it, and you need to run, run as administrator. That's all you need to do. It will take care of all installation process. There's not, no other step involved. Once this is done, uh, what it will do is it will create an additional folder for you. In my case, since I have, I have already installed it, you can see this, this, this folder is created by the installation program. The next step you need to do is bin client win86 and PSCFG. You need to click on this. And you need to set up your database, whatever the database name you provided during installation, you need to provide that. You need to give that user ID, your user ID and connection password that you entered during installation program. That's it. You're all ready to go. Pop up our, this is the last step we just completed. Let me open that design. See if it worked out. Perfect. That's it for today, guys. Feel free to drop some comments and feedback. Love to hear back from you. Thank you for listening to me. Bye-bye.